I'm going to hand you over to uh, Dr. Rosie Lushnet, who's a consultant psychiatrist and uh, uh, works at the Wessex Deanery, sub-dean, isn't it, Rosie? Yes. At Associate. Associate Dean, I'm sorry. I can't get the terminologies. At the Wessex Deanery. And uh, Rosie leads the educational development of uh, side of our work. And anyway, Rosie's going to tell you about our achievements so far. Then after that, I'm going to talk a little bit about the future for you. Rosie. Thank you, Mark. Hello. Um, I'm like Tess and, and everybody before me. I'm absolutely delighted to be here and to see you all here today. I'm very proud to be a member of this project. Um, I've been with the project right from the start, uh, since the start, and I have also become a trustee of the charity. So a double whammy, if you like. There isn't time to tell you about everything we've done, so I will just highlight a few of the major achievements to date. As you can see there, we have already uh, managed to train more health workers we think services are already improving in mental health. We have done a lot to educate the educators because we believe that only that way can we ensure high quality training and of course thereby uh, uh, developing health workers who can provide good quality care. We've been involved in visits both ways and I'll just say a few words about each one of those. And you can see Kintampo is the center of Ghana, and Dr. Jussi would tell you it is also the center of the world. I don't know the evidence for that, but he might be able to tell you. So, new mental health workers, uh, from naught to 72 in one year. Uh, in August last year, the first students uh, qualified at the College of Health in Kintampo, uh, 72 of them, and we're told they're already making a difference in their practice across the country. Now, this year, that number will, up, will go up to, I said 181, but in fact, it may be uh, a few more than that. And for the first time this year, we will have qualified medical assistance in psychiatry, the senior grade we are training, as well as 106 more community mental health officers uh, from August. So I'm sure you agree that's a huge difference from where we started. So that's the, the workforce. What about the services? Well, we know and we are picking this up every time we go or people come over here, that there is a renewed enthusiasm and commitment for working in mental health and developing mental health services in Ghana. And that is not, does not just apply to the new people we train, but also to the existing mental health workers, the community psychiatric nurses who are already working in the mental health service. In addition to that, there is active networking going on within Ghana, both at regional and national level. Some of the lead supervisors or preceptors, uh, as we call them, who supervise the students in their practice placements have started to build regional networks and have taken on the task of uh, training and supervising their colleagues. And most importantly, from our perspective, because this project is all about sustainability, making sure that when we uh, disappear from the scene, others are able to take forward the work. The people we're training are people who want to work in Ghana, so they are committed to providing a service to the country, unlike doctors and nurses who are trained at a great cost, but then often leave the country to work elsewhere where they can obviously 
earn a bit more or working conditions are better. So we are hoping that we are training for Ghana. So that's the, the services. Now, what about the education? I'm an educator and I'm a passionate educator and I believe that uh, educator development is key to success and I bore my colleagues stiff with that. Uh, but we have introduced a very active educator development program and that includes annual workshops for the tutors at the college and the supervisors in practice. We've run three annual workshops so far the first two included only mental health nurses, but last September we had 43 of these mental health nurses, but also for the first time 12 social workers, a prison officer, a traditional healer, and eight of the students who of course will be the educators of the future. And it was a fantastic event. In addition, we have also brought some key people, lead supervisors from Ghana to the UK. And the first of these visits uh, happened last March. And these are the, the first four who came over. And that the reason for bringing people over is so that they can experience mental health services in the UK, especially community-based uh, services, but also to develop their educational role within mental health. And we know that three of those four have already taken on lead roles back in Ghana. And the next visit uh, of another four is due in May of this year. And the third strand to developing the educators is to for teams of UK educators to go out and work alongside the supervisors in their practice placement sites. Um, and we've formed three teams and three visits have already taken place and three more are planned for uh, April this year. So, how have we been able to do all this? And we decided right from the start that the only way for this to succeed was to engage people at all levels from the start. So this photo shows the first visit of our team to Ghana to start the project. And in the photo, you, you may not be able to see but there is uh, Dr. Jassy, uh, but there are also key politicians from the uh, Ghana Health Service and the Ministry of Health. And throughout the project, we have worked at all levels. We've worked with people in the field, but also uh, with senior managers, clinicians, and uh, politicians throughout. And in addition, um, we are working very closely with the educators at the college in Kintampo as well as those who work out in the 10 regions of Ghana. I think, as I said, we've come a long way. There is a lot more work to be done and we hope that some of you here today might be able to support that work either personally or perhaps through some funding, if I'm allowed to uh, mention that. So thank you very much for your attention.